Einstein's predictions are as varied as they are incredibly true. And as an example, we have not only black holes, but also gravitational waves, and even a new engine that we have just discovered. He proposed it almost a century ago, and now experts have managed to make it work for the first time. The most shocking thing of all, it doesn't run on any of the fuels you know, nor does it run on ammonia or methanol. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and activating notifications to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, sharing is caring. This engine was predicted by Einstein. 100 years later, it was created for the first time. Among the works that had a significant impact on the general public and popular culture were Albert Einstein's theory of relativity and his well-known equation, E mc2. Nuclear reactions that he was researching could be utilized for the production of energy according to his work implications. It has been one of the fundamental ideas employed today in the propulsion system, especially with the use of fusion propulsion. Rocket Star, a groundbreaking aerospace technology company, had taken this one step further with a new proton engine with nuclear fusion of pulsed plasma propulsion. This effective innovation has the attributes to revolutionize the space industry by presenting more effective ways to travel in space. The Firestar usually referred to as the proton engine is an improved craft propulsion device that utilizes pulsed plasma and nuclear fusion. Does a proton engine exist? Einstein knew it, and he explained it in four keys. This technology greatly enhances the efficiency of that firm's base water-fueled pulsed plasma thruster by using a form of aneutronic nuclear fusion. The base thruster produces high-speed protons by ionizing water vapor. It magnificently impacts its nucleus when it coincides with the configuration of a boron atom. The atom fuses and turns into a high-energy state carbon isotope that quickly degrades into three alpha particles. When the given boron is added to the exhaust in the thruster, the fusion that happens in the exhaust of the thruster is enhanced. The Firestar drive has been developed by Rocket Star and the firm has demonstrated this on several occasions. There is sufficient evidence that this technology works. Some of the recognizable accomplishments include the developmental, partly reusable Cowbell rocket that was launched to transport a prototype satellite for geospatial services. Some figures to understand the Proton engine. You won't believe something like this to be real. The player reviews. For the proton engine, reveal that it has better characteristics compared to the older forms of propulsion systems. Specific impulse refers to efficiency, and the engine comes with a specific impulse of above 8,000 seconds, which is much higher than chemical propulsion systems. The proton engine provides a specific impulse of about 30,000 seconds, which is nearly 10 times greater than that of the chemical rocket engines of approximately 450 seconds. Consequently, the requirements on the propellant for the proton engine can be much lesser than for the ion engine, and yet produce the same thrust, which makes the former a more suitable candidate for mobility. Originally developed as a nano-satellite propulsion, the Proton engine can be a game-changer in space travel. It offers itself as something less costly and more sustainable to move around in space. Thus, it has the potential to revolutionize the space industry. Currently, Rocket Star is in the process of technology development. However, in the following years, the organization is planning to conduct several missions. 
it is most often considered new areas of commercial potential for the Proton engine, including power generation and in deep space probe propulsion. What do you think the Proton engine could be in a few years? The truth is that scientists do not believe that it will be developed on a commercial scale, but it could demonstrate that not all future mobility will be based on the fuels we know. This is an invention that reminds us of those nuclear engines that were proposed two decades ago and that, as expected, ended up being a failure. Nobody would want to ride on a Fukushima mini power plant. The engineering of this proton engine is a clear indicator of great progress in materials science and plasma physics. Advanced materials for constructing vessels capable of maintaining temperature levels close to those of the plasma have been discovered, making it possible to contain plasma necessary for fusion. Also, the information available in plasma physics and nuclear fusion has significantly advanced, allowing scientists to model and manage fusion reactions with increased efficiency. Rocketstar is a startup founded in 2021 that is developing a nuclear fusion propulsion engine. Their goal is to create a revolutionary rocket engine that uses the fusion of hydrogen nuclei to generate extremely high specific impulse. Rocket Star's design is based on proton fusion, hydrogen nuclei, through a funnel-shaped magnetic field. The protons are injected into the wide end of the funnel and then compressed as they approach the narrow end, reaching extremely high temperatures and densities. Fusion releases large amounts of energy that is converted into a plasma jet directed outward at high speed. This provides thrust to the rocket without the need for chemical propellants. The advantage is that fusion fuel, hydrogen, is virtually inexhaustible and in the long term, it could be used in vehicles. As you can see, this proton engine demonstrates that when it comes to making transportation sustainable, physics and mobility can come together. They also did it with this trick to double the range of electric cars, something that now puzzles factories for one simple reason. It's too good to be true but thousands of drivers are already experiencing how well it works. That concludes today's discussion. Please remember to like, comment, and share this content with fellow enthusiasts and relevant forums. Thank you, and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our next episode.